We begin our last day driving the gorgeous road to Waimea to see Seth and Paulette of Kickshaw's Food Truck. They reached out to us when we started talking about going to Kauai and offered up some food and fun. And who are we to say no? Thanks in part to science and Seth's creativity, this is definitely not your grandfather's food truck. We begin with an amuse-bouche, which means excite the mouth in French. Jelly sphere of alginate combined with calcium lactate, sodium alginate, a process called reverse spherification. Tapioca maltodextrin is a unique powder. Seth's description absolutely hurt my brain. So let's just say it's peanut butter and jelly, but not like you've had it before. So there's a lot of science that goes into this for this for this one bite. Wow. It's like it's just completely liquid on the inside. It's not your normal food truck food. It's not Hawaiian at all. It's science right here, but it's damn good science. He then poured a delicious porter from the Kauai Beer Company, followed by what I call his vertically integrated hamburger. Seth combines 85% beef with 15% bacon, but rather than mix the grind together, he keeps it all in a horizontal log, so when it's cut and cooked, the strands are up and down. I know, crazy. Then it gets bacon, cheese melted on top, and ultimately tomatoes and an onion pineapple marmalade. I've been waiting for this. I've never had a, a burger cooked like vertically, the meat, but whatever, I'm just going. I know I have stuff in my face, I don't care. He's not Hawaiian. The food's not Hawaiian. Maybe a little pineapple and the onions. This thing is damn good. Damn good. Holy smokes. Beets, oh, it's watermelon. Compressed. <laughs> nice people. Great food. Ridiculous location. It doesn't really get any better than this, seriously. I know. <laughs> a crazy, crazy poke, amazing bird. Oh, sorry, hang on one second. Uh, I don't know what's next, but I can promise you it will either be A, delicious, B, beautiful, or C, all of the above. Don't go away. No, I know, I told you. So you walk in the store and they've just got the most amazing selection. The salmon's there and the, the ahi fur cocky. Welcome to the lanai. Lanai in Hawaiian means patio. Oh, that's better. Do you remember the huli huli chicken that we had? Uh, do you remember the huli huli chicken we just came across the other day in the front lawn of uh, that house? They were selling it for the fundraiser for the niece. I thought I'd do my own version of Huli Huli Chicken. I don't know the real version, so this will be my version. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients to put this together. Are we ready to go? Here we go. About a half a cup brown sugar. Oh, maybe a little bit more. That's gonna be okay, we're gonna be fine. It, what I do is not exact. Equal amount of soy sauce. Oh, looks about regular, good. Ketchup. Oh, look what's waiting behind the ketchup. Hmm. Less ketchup. Say about a third of a cup. A couple tablespoons Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcester, whatever you call it. One, two, you hear those roosters? All the time. The wild chickens here are unbelievable. We've talked about that, it's crazy. 
about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Once again, the Asian component is resplendent in everything that goes on in the island. A big part of it. Sriracha for a little heat, about a tablespoon. And that's it. Oh, look what I found. Now we just mix. Try and mix well. You wanna you wanna break up the sugar that's in here. The huli huli chicken we had the other day were those big uh, half chickens, right? The breast, the thigh, the leg, whole thing. I'm using these little drummies. They're cute. Thought it'd be fun. But before I do this, I want to save a little bit of this sauce for a little basting and for a little bit after. So I'm just going to pour a little bit out. There we go. And now we take the drummies and we put them in. Come on, drummies. Come on. And by the way, none of those rooster chicken things that are going on out there were harmed in the making of this episode. Well, I suppose a chicken is not a rooster, but you know. So now we mix. How easy, right? Anybody can do this. Trust me, I've watched enough of those cooking shows when they're like, oh, anybody can do this. This is the end of like 75 ingredients. And then you need a 14 ingredient sauce. It's mental. Mmm, smells great. Absolutely delicious. Okay. At the, all right, I'm getting to it. At this point, we let this marinate. We give it an hour, we give it a couple hours. It doesn't really need any more than that. And we're there. Uh, if I had some spray, I would use some spray, but I mean, it's a really well-equipped place, but little things like that, no, you gotta have it yourself. So, I don't have spray, so I wanna oil the grill a little bit. So I just have a little bit of canola oil here. I mean, it's kind of a silly way to do it, but I'm gonna do this. I just don't want chicken to stick, and chicken has a tendency of sticking, you know that? And apparently canola oil has a tendency of burning in the thing, and I don't want that. So now what do I do? Now I just gotta stand here and wait for that to cook. Oh, it's so hot. Ah, maron. All right, uh, watch this. We'll just start putting them on in the inside. So they've been marinated for a beautiful amount of time. And they're gonna be gorgeous. The key to chicken, I think, is simple. You have to move it a bunch. You don't just put it down and just let it do its thing. You put it down and you move it side to side, back to front, left to right, that kind of thing. And because there's sugar in here, it may have a tendency to flare a little bit. You don't want an enormous amount of heat. You gotta watch it. You gotta babysit it a bit. So this is not the kind of thing that you put on the grill and then you go like inside and check email and call your, you know, your Aunt Susie, that kind of stuff. So now we're just maintaining, we're watching, we're checking, we're double checking. We're hoping it doesn't burn. We're getting beautiful color all the way around. These are little, they're not gonna take that long. But when they're done, oh my, they're gonna be so good. Turn them, they're lovely. They're on their way to being perfect huli huli chicken. And then it's done, gorgeous, and we must eat. And the very important taste test. I mean, I feel like I'm a reasonably well-spoken person, but seriously, I don't really have words for this. It's sweet, there's a little heat to this. The onions, the seeds, the... I mean, come on, come on now. You must make this. You don't have to come to Kauai to do it. I mean, you can, you don't have to. But whatever you do, just make them. 
All right. Don't go away, because once again, do I know what's coming up? Probably not. It's going to be good, or beautiful, or both. change what it will be. A better web starts with your website, Squarespace. And this is cool. If you put my name Sam in the promo box at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. You got to like that. So right by uh, where we're staying at Poipu Beach is this little tiny baby town of Kaloa. And it's charming in a really sweet sort of way and yes there's a bunch of tourists that wander around and shops and do pizza and souvenir stuff like that but it's got a nice feel and one of our favorite things oh no you're okay yeah cute baby Thanks. you're welcome one of our favorite things is poke raw fish marinated lightly we're gonna get some and take it home and make it So uh, we've been here four days now, we've come in every night, and one of these guys has uh, put poke in containers for us, and we've gone back and had a poke feast. Uh, super delicious, obviously great for you, super fresh, amazing kind of stuff, but Tavaka just uh, put a big, beautiful piece of tuna here for me, so we're gonna go back and make this into spicy, spicy tuna poke. Wait, did I say his name right? Yeah, yeah. Tavaka, yeah? We got it, let's go. Welcome back. This has nothing to do with the ahi that I'm about to turn into great poke, but we discovered this. Passion fruit, it's like, I don't know what it is, 100% all natural passion fruit. Lilikoi is, is passion fruit here on the islands. It's really good, and with a vodka and a little lemon, it's a little better. But now down to business. So I have about a pound of this beautiful little ahi here, yeah? Um, the key, if you, if you remember what you saw back at uh, Big Save, they're like little like half inch cube chunks. So that's what I'm gonna do. All I'm gonna do is cut these pieces so that I can sort of make it like this. And then these little chunks like this, because that's kind of how they serve it, right? Remember I said that we like had a poke fest every night? Sorry, I hate to keep going back. Look at this. The remnants, the leftovers from the last couple of nights of poke dumb here. Poke Ness. Pokeville. Pokemon! I'm the Pokemon today. That's ridiculous. Okay, so just let me cut these into these nice little gorgeous pieces into the bowl, cross, and then this way, just little chunks. Like uh, like dice, right? I guess, like, like sort of like Bucky Seven. Ah, look, it came up snake eyes. Do you see that? Nobody saw that. I do something nobody watches. It's so quiet. I know, it's so quiet here. It's our last day, we go back tomorrow. So this seemed fitting that uh, we would make this because we have enjoyed this uh, every night. Every night. Follow my knife. Look at those two. You see what's going on over there? Pretty much nothing. Reading. You know, reading a book and watching Downton Abbey. Those two are waiting. Those two are waiting for the poke. And I better make it good because they are critical. And if they don't like something, they'll get mean and they will tell you. 
It's just the way it is around here. It ain't easy being me. So this will just go into our bowl. I know the bowl's a little big, but it's uh, the only one that was big and see-through. And I wanted you to see what's going on in here. Okay. Some green onion. Always green onion. So I'm gonna put maybe half of this in and leave the rest for garnishing. I'm telling you, you have to make this. I'm gonna say that again at the end, I can promise, because it's gonna be that good. Uh, but it's just really one of those combinations that's, that's really super delicious. So watch, we take about half of this and in it goes here. Let me turn a little bit more, okay. Now the easy part. Okay, so about a tablespoon of soy. Like don't overdo it, you know, you can easily overdo it. About a half a teaspoon or so of sesame oil. Boop, that's it. A couple tablespoons of uh, a Kewpie. Look, you know I'm a Kewpie fan, I buy it all the time. At home, this is about, I don't know, $3.99, four bucks. I bought it here in the market, $11.50. And we're like, wait a minute, isn't Hawaii a lot closer to Japan than we are in the, on the west coast of the United States? No answer for that. Two tablespoons of this. One, two. I'd say two tablespoons of sriracha. It depends on how spicy you like it. So we'll go about, about one and a half. Boom, like that. Now, take a sip of your drink. And then mix. Mix lightly, right? Oh, I can't wait. I'm telling you. Uh, see, there's none of my there's none of my plates, my rectangular plates or anything. It's a well-stocked place, trust me. And what's one of the beautiful things about this? But there's... I'll go with this. Okay, now watch. Put this here. Leave that. A little bit more green onion. And... Hold on, I have... I bought some sesame seeds. Now the crazy thing is, it's delicious by itself. You take a bite and you can eat it and it will be fantastic. But we like it with something crunchy. And the crunchy thing that we've been really enjoying it with, these Maui um, onion potato chips. And there's not a lot left. Apparently everybody went through them last night like crazy. But just like that. So this is what you do. Take a piece, just like this, right here. Just one, just one, just one. Up it goes, and. Mm. Should have put a little bit more sriracha in. Two tablespoons, would be completely solid without this. That didn't make sense. Two tablespoons would be completely solid. Oh no, now I'm getting it. Okay, one and a half tablespoons, that's where you should go. And there you have it, four short days in Kauai. Only my second time, but I'm now officially smitten by the Garden Island. With the people, the beauty, and certainly the food. There's no question, we all look forward to coming back. And so we'll end the show where we began, right here at the Lihui Airport. Four days in Kauai has been ridiculously fast, but ridiculously fun. And from all of us at the live cast, we just want to say mahalo and aloha.